That team's so sick. Two trench coat boys and the magnet man versus a man with metal bones. Come on, gets the grab out the gate. Here we go, full combo. Okay, nice. Goes for the reset with Jam Session. Gets the hit, does not follow up the combo, no worries. Okay, Wolverine escaping with his life, getting the drones out there. Ooh, okay, yeah, gets again, clipped by Jam Session in a button, but Xeno just can't confirm it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We get big damage on set 10 now. Xeno, actually, you know what? He's kind of looking in control right now, dude. He is uh, not doing too bad right now. Let's go, Xeno. Yeah, get the zappy zaps out there. So that move uh, does a ton of chip damage. And if you invoke flight mode, you get like seven of those things in the air. Not going to matter here, though, because you know what? Sentinel gets the grab. Full confirm on Dante here with the drones. Gets a little bit of extension with Centurion Rush there. Very nice. Snaps in the Virgil. Always a great call. If you're playing competitive Marvel and there's a Virgil on their team, you snap him out. Deal with this guy. Treat him like Dark Phoenix, you know? Okay, mix up with the jam session. No confirm, but gets a mix on the way down. Nice. Use the ground bounce. OTG in the jam session. Gonna cash out the super, and that'll be a dead Wolverine. Solo Nova. Way in the bag. Here we go. Gets the hit. Xeno. This is looking uh, pretty good. Okay, yeah. Gets the TAC. Don't do it to him. You don't know that combo. I know you don't know that combo, Xeno. Come on. We play all the time. All right, let me see. Yeah, gets the gravity squeeze. Oh, very nice, very nice. You know what? That was pretty convincing. That was pretty convincing. Xeno kind of goaded? Can play more than mods? Wait a minute. Okay, text the throw round start this time. Oh my god, out that happy birthday, out that gate. Okay, Virgil's still alive, Magneto's still alive. This isn't the worst thing ever. Now it is. Now you're absolutely doomed. You just give up. Quit! Go to the next game! That's alright, no, he's got a full health Dante. That's my guy, I believe in him. That's Dante, dude, come on. Okay. Yeah, cancels in a double trigger to make it safe. Very important with Dante. If you're gonna dive kick like a moron, double trigger, please. Okay, gets the extension with the drones, full combo, very nice. Pretty bad scaling, but he gets the snap back on uh, Virgil here, so very strong position for Sam right now. Okay, and that's gonna be a dead Virgil. We got solo anchor Dante in double trigger. Nice. All right, double trigger. Timer ran out, so you can actually gain meter again, thankfully. Here we go. Oh, no, that's not good enough. Had to spend the bar and the X-Factor to get out there. Ac accidentally uh, spent the bar, rather. Gets the double double prop shredder, you know? Not ideal, but you know what? He got the job done. Okay, he tried for some cheeky mix there. Okay, punishes the boot. You already used the prop out, Zeno! Oh, very nice. Gets the reset there with the Helmbreaker. Dead robot. Okay, double trigger mix. Okay, blocks the cross up there. That was pretty cute. Yo, Sam, gonna take it with the anchor Nova. Very nice, very nice. Right, here we go. Going into game three. Going to game three. Wolverine out the gate. Gets the confirm with the assist and immediately snapping in Virgil. Again, this is definitely what you want to be doing here. You never want to deal with that character in the back, especially against Xeno here. Okay, wow, actually uses the happy birthday attempt to correct himself in point of Wolverine. Not gonna matter though, because you get happy birthday, both of the Devil May Cry boys getting smoked right now. Ooh, drops the confirm though, drops the end of that combo. And this is suddenly looking really good for Xeno here. Dante's bleeding hard, but if he can finish this combo, get some damage on the table. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Yeah, get the Gucci belt. He's doing a pretty safe version of the sword loop. Very good, consistent. Okay, jam session makes him plus just enough to make sure he can steal his turn back. Very nice. Trades there with an S. Oh, Dante almost dies in the process there. This is... Oh, okay. All right, now that Virgil's dead, terrible for Xena. Oh my god. He's really got to get a hit here. At least chip out that Wolverine. Maybe throw some bolts at him. Yeah, not bad. So I think if you're Xeno here, you kind of save X-Factor for as long as possible right now. You really don't want... Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, now that Dante is dead, sure. Kind of go for it. I would chip him out without using uh, using the resource. Then he should be fine. Yep. Gets the beam. If you can get the mix here, I think you X-Factor right away. Okay, yeah. He knew he wasn't going to be safe anyway. So, you know what? Sure. I agree with spending it there. 
Okay. Incoming on Nova. What do you got? Fuck all. All right. See, I got you. It happens. We're all like that. Okay. I guess the confirm here. My Nito drops it. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gets the scoop. Okay. He had. He doesn't have the meter, but he got the reset. Okay. That just kind of happens with my Nito throw sometimes. You know, you get opened up. Accidental resets. Okay. Does he have the confirm? No, Sam does not have the confirm here. Okay. Tries to go for the mix up there on, on some liberal Terminator stuff. I got you. Okay. Xeno playing very smart here, and I'm joined in the booth by another wonderful commentator. How are you doing today, Wizard? Good. Uh, how are you, Heath? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, almost as well as Zeno is doing. Gonna finish this off with a chip. I need a shockwave. No, he didn't have the damage. Oh, cool. I cursed him. I cursed my boy. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. is it like I'm noticing? Like, the big thing is that with Sentinel out of this matchup, it would probably be ideal for Zeno. But like, because I don't think Nova doesn't give much to Wolverine, does he? I'm sorry. What? Sorry, I was gonna say. Um. Nova doesn't really offer that much in neutral for Wolvie, so if at any no. point they can get a Zeno can get a snipe of Dante or his other characters on a Sentinel, it would probably be to his advantage. Yes, yeah, I would say so. I think as Zeno, you really want to get rid of the Sentinel assist in this matchup. Uh, Wolverine can be annoying to deal with, but once he's off the table and you've just got the solo Nova situation, as long as you don't throw any really bad projectiles, like you're kind of fine. You know, like I think on paper Zeno's team kind of cooks here, but you know, right. Sam is just playing very well. I mean, Swords and Jam Session covers most of Nova's angles. I would say so. Is he? Is that Hazy? That's not Zeno. That's Hazy, right? He passed the controller to Hazy, rocking Rising Sun Assist. Okay. That I've never seen. Yes, uh, I know Zeno likes to play Rising Sun Assist because you know what? You get some super jump confirms. It's like a it's like a bad Jam Session. You showing know? work already. It's showing work already. Got the anti air. Nothing to complain about. Gets an air thrown. Um, that was oh, my Sentinel God. came on the wrong side. Jeez. Uh, half it's... Ooh, wait a minute. No. Okay, yeah. Has to use the install to stay oh, safe. No. Very nice. Oh, no. The drone's gonna... Nope. Uh, nice. Oh. That's a rough one. Okay. A um, lot of jump oh, S's here. Safe DHC into the Dante here. Gonna get there some big go. damage on Sentinel. We'll get that Sentinel. Okay, here we go. Kill him with the airplay, no worries. He didn't build any meter either, so Sentinel is not playing a freeze archer right now. Oh. No. He basically needs to have hard drive active to be able to play the game, so he's just kind of out this time, no worries. x Factor 3, Nova been putting in work. So, oh, wait a minute, not even dead. Just a, a crumb of chip. No, see that? We want to see this Rising Sun assist get sent. Yeah, actually, so the one time he could be mashing it. I really want to see it right now. There it yep, is. Yes. He heard me. He has the commentary on. I know he Fix does. It. Oh. oh, let's go, Zeno. Which side? Which side? No side. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It's the All costume. Right. He's feeling himself. It's the co yeah, he's got Drip Magneto. Of course he's got this. Okay, wait a minute. Wait. Uh, that was off a... Of okay, yeah. There we go. There we go. Closes out. Gravity squeeze. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two in the first set? Come on. That's how you know it's going to be a good night. Friend Zeno is starting to hone in on that Sentinel call. He's kind of cooking right now. I'm, I'm just saying it. I think he could do it. Because when he's been winning, too much. when he's been winning, it's been decisive. I want to see it. Okay, yeah, rising set. Yeah. Okay. He almost that... got <laughs> right? I think he could do this. He just has to follow up there with the S instead of H on the God. ground. It actually seems to catch some of Wolvie's dive kick zones really well. <laughs> yeah, actually. He's gonna get oh. this time. Yep. Yup. No. Dead Magneto. Uh, Dead Magneto. Awesome. Dead Magneto! Okay. Block. Keep watch your toes. Oh. He was Probably right to chicken block it, because it makes you more plus as the defender, but then just got air grabbed after. Chain to see it. Mix. Stays in front. Oh. Goes low. Justin Wong. Justin Wong! Okay. <laughs> Get the hit on the Virgil here. Get a kill for, with uh, Fatal Claw for one meter there. So, you know, out of one meter good. deficit. Sometimes mm -hmm. he's just tall. He's, he's a tall boy. Mix. 
Okay, there we go, there we go. Stop kicking in, staying safe with the double trigger install. Very nice. Okay, tries to bait him with the hammer. Okay, uh, all right, just got a raw ass home break. dive kick space. Love that. Oh, Bully Arc? I'm... Nice. Niffs out. Oh my Ooh. god, that was so That would've been smart. sick. Zeno kind of cooking right now, using multi-lock. He's making me consider using this move. Okay. Sniff that hard, right? Oh, oh wait I've a minute! Never seen that. Shut up, that was so sick! <laughs> wait a minute! I'm calling it a read. No way in hell it was actually a read, but you know what? It was a read to me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Decent damage on here. I'm Mix. not sure I agree with spinning the bar there. Back in Double Trigger, here's the problem with Dante. You want to be in Double Trigger, but Double Trigger, you don't gain meters. So, uh... Oh, that ah. was... <laughs> Style for the kill. A throw combo. We didn't even need to. Sam going to take it in a very close 3-2. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. You get some great adjustment between the two of them. Very great adjustment. If you want to make a great adjustment in your life... You know what you can do? You can subscribe to Avengers. Come on. He's streaming Marvel every week? Keeping the game alive? Strong start. Defense goes in. Even Spencer's higher HP. This should probably be, oh, nice. For the meter. And guarantees the kill. Stevenoff knows the tech and wants to ensure he has the two button meter ready at any point. Oh, Rinkin Mag. So that's the mix. Pulls back. Oh, sometimes you get a little too relaxed. Rolls going to finish Magneto with Super and then. Double Doom comeback. Did he believe? Didn't believe. First match, no time flat, goes to Midnight Snack. Looks like uh, he's not willing to make a meal out of this. Go. Oh, Dante has his breaks throw. One of the unique features of Magnus is that his throw puts you in a capture state, but that means your assist can knock you out. Do you see up? If not, I've seen before, knows this. Top to bottom, builds his meter. Finishes the spear flame. Brings him back again. Back behind. Thanks to his TOC, he's got plenty of. Oh, another drop on Ethanol's part. <clears throat> Sentinel manages once again to jump. And death. Oh. Gotta watch for that Akuma. Go, don't take me land. This is chicken watch. Keep it safe. Oh, just him at the startup. It's all three, so hard drive loop should definitely. Oh, doesn't keep going. Allows him to live and then catches him with crashing media. See if Heefnoff can hold out and catch up. He's always coming really strong in the initial half, and then Sentinel always manages to escape certain death to make quick comebacks. So if Heefnoff can keep his edge, he's sure to actually have a fairly good chance of winning this despite these last two matches. But it's all about integrity in this game. And going down. Easy 80. Go, what's the mix? Stays in front. Ah, uh, nice block. Keep off reading. <clears throat> and now he's gonna just take it a little slower. Without drones, Spencer's angles are gonna be more grounded. But as long as he keeps his guard, he can... Oh, doesn't confirm the launcher. Go, jam session. Night. Oh, this is the conversion, but this one is guaranteed. Kill two button tech. Spencer is toast. 
goes in front. Now he just needs to deal with his demons and get rid of this sentinel quickly. Then the character he's had the most issues. Oh no! Was that commenter's curse? Nope. Get this robot off the screen. Kill the robot. You can do it, Heath. He respects Akuma's options. We'll get it out. Two button tech. You gonna X Factor here to confirm? Yes. Akuma is a low HP character, so I'm terribly sorry. It has happened again. Oh. He's not doom, another leaf off life and return for his gift to Akuma, as you'll see. It's confirmed. No meter and double trigger. Can we extend this combo long enough to no. Dive, as well. He doesn't have the meter, he can't nice. Read the jump. One round. For Heefnoff, see if this is a full comeback. So, seeing that he's really respecting um, Spencer and watching for drones. Is he gonna go up again? Or are we going to kill staying in front of Mag? He needs to burn the meter. Alright. Sentinel going to survive again. Here's this round. Look in Heefnoff's way. Nice side. Easy land. Extra meter. Whew. Scared us for a second, but Heefnoff is killing his demon. Sentinel is not living. And so can he confirm? And keep it easy. Nice X Factor. One more rep. And level three. Perfect. That's it. 2v2. Ethnoff's coming back. Oh. Is this going to confirm? Consensual? Nice. <clears throat> Quick adjustments, X Factor saves the birthday, but. Uh, greedy on meter there. But let's see how badly this ends out for him. X Factor Dante, happy birthday. We'll bring in Mag here to the kill. Uh, yes. What's the mix-up? Go and is this going to kill at that distance? Perfect. Knopf takes it in the clincher, and uh, the button checks. Now here's the thing, whenever Quack is on the sticks, I kind of give him maximum credit. Quack is pretty OD, performed well every time I've been uh, watching him anyway. Mimikyu, also a very strong player, uh, have been on the other side of Mimikyu, at least in Palace Swap. <laughs> right. But you know, I think I'm leaning toward Quack. What do you What do you think? You know anything about these players? Um, I know Mimikyu's a bit more recent to the scene, but I mean, I've seen Quack's various blue phases. Remember, there was the Modoc Sentinel phase. Uh, Virgil no, phase. Not, no. Virgil phase. Everyone has a Virgil phase. Come on now. If you're a Marvel player, you haven't had a Virgil phase, or you haven't thought about it, you're a liar. I'm just saying. I mean, I guess Quack is just an absolute wild card, and their play style just endlessly evolved. Like, you know, he'll be three in, and then suddenly he swaps to a complete keep away team and doesn't even want to like, play for mix. Uh, no, definitely wants to play very defensive there, keep a very safe game. Okay, scoops. Yeah. 
This is a button check, right? I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was. Evidently, I just didn't know Quack's team today. Oh, oh. man, the button. Taking out the character. Here we go. Okay, it just gets clipped. Sure. Frank West. Uh, rare footage of Frank West. This is doing fuck all. Oh, no. Solo Doom. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. It could happen to you. <laughs> nope. Yeah, oh, X Factor oh. after camera should be yep. Team Super. Oh, nah. We'd rather simply finish the combo. All right, so that's on me. <laughs> I, so, I'm sorry. I'm like, I, evidently, I'm not as familiar with Quack as I thought because I saw Frank, Shuma, and Rocket, and I was like, what? No way. But, uh, I mean, look, you've seen Quack making it work. Point Frank? Doesn't look like I mean, it's uh... The OTG on the uh, Shuma assist does actually give dividends to Frank. Yeah, turns out. Turns out. Pretty good. Yeah, no, you can kind of see it now, especially uh, Rocket Assist there, chipping in. Okay, off for Team Super here, very nice. Gets the OTG on Akuma, and yeah, he's it's just taken out, this, uh, taken out this Akuma anchor, no problem. Not even having to, to actually deal with it, just, you know. This catching out the damage. Mid -fire. I thought um, after two through, the Pendulum was the ideal Frank Assist. No, apparently not, trying something else out. Crack running Spitfire twice. Nice. So here we are again at functionally kind of a solo Doom thing. You got Wesker in the back, but he's bleeding hard, doesn't have a lot of help. And yeah, Frank can't get in. Yeah, I guess the confirm with Frank there. Going in, oh, now you gotta get in on the, on the rack, Look up the missile, yep. No, you gotta hit your X-Factor confirms, my friend. That's gonna be a dead rat. Come on. No, that's oh, a dead rat for sure. Oh, Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Everyone's spending X-Factor irresponsibly today. Oh, no. Right, here we go. No, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Yo, Wesker gets it on the Shuma. Shuma. Oh, that we got the jank ass hurt box. It should be a dead Wesker. Yeah, here we go. Built the meter too, which is really good for. Uh, probably be able to make level three before the end of this doom. Oh no, Mookie, it's a masher. Mash on the defense. They're gonna get clipped by the eyes, and now you get bodied by the level three. We're going to the chaos dimension. Mash, 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 mash. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Elegant. Quick game two for Quack here. I honestly thought Mimikyu had it, but then kind of dropped the ball on the X Factor call there, in my opinion. Right. It's uh, Doom. Playing so well, hard though. knockdowns yeah. are easy to have. Like... Yeah, I, I honestly thought what they were going for at that point was the Doom finger lasers into Wesker DHC. Because, like, that, your mid screen would have gotten a lot of damage out of it. I think just a little bit worried about it. Oh, also, uh, great reminder from Fetus here. This is 115 MS for Mimikyu there. So 115 MS, if you don't know, it's 16, I believe it's 16 milliseconds equals one frame of lag. So this is like what, seven frames? <laughs> seven frames delay. So like big ups to Mimikyu for even participating at this point. It's like that is not easy to land all your stuff. There we go. Whack, getting the first hit on the Nova here. Spitfire twice. Time over Wesker. Very nice. Harder angles for Frank to reach than Wesker's ground-based gameplay. Yeah. Look at the, uh, ooh, button extensions and going back to mid-screen there. Very nice uh, Frank roll four yeah. setup there. With barrel roll intact, now these mix-ups with the Spitfire are going to be really tricky. There's just enough gap for a throw there. Yeah, it's a very scary mix-up to be on the other end of, as you can tell by uh, Mimikyu's own Frank was kind of getting cooked there. Ooh, blocks the mix there. Gets the knee drop. Mix no confirm. The camera. Yeah, let me keep rocking a more mm. conventional Frank West team here, but uh, looks like yep. just can't deal with Quack's offense here. This is kind of brutal. Oof. <laughs> you block there. <laughs> you don't. You simply don't. There it is. Gonna be Team Hyper. And then knee drop. Oh. I uh, just dropped the combo there. I guess properly. gets air grab. Oh, you get a full combo here. Oh. No! no! Drop the volcano into Beehive. Office. No worries. We punished the hard tag. It's Raccoon from the office. He's coming. <laughs> we punished the raw tag <laughs> again. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Spends a lot of bar, but no worries. And we've got some uh, teammates bleeding here. Do you get two mix ups? You're good. Okay, you didn't get two mix ups. <laughs> Got a watch for not, the no zombies. I mean, Dante is like, uh, we don't have that kind of zombie in DMC. Oh, wait a minute! Right. <laughs> not the damn ball. Why is that track, huh? You have to track in Blicky? 
Come on. That's a good three up. for Quack. That was a cross up. <laughs> I think he went under with the uh, with the shopping cart there. Well, hey, good games from Mimikyu there. Again, you got a million times that Sentinel is the best. Uh, oh. Kev, I am not. Oh no, there it is. Never mind. We're fine. It's in the stream. Okay, here we go. We got the pink hole. Very nice. Bang! Oh, oh no, he's spotted my meter on the sky. Oh wait, no, he's the best. Meters and asses are the best. Hellfire assist. Long distance OTG. It's kind of Tong, genius. Tong would be proud. Tong would be proud. That's basically rocket punch right there. Here we go. Anchor Ghost Rider, by the way. I love everything about oh. Meteor's team right now. Come on, yeah. Okay, Morgan just kind of floating out of the corner, floating back in. Got a good okay. going on the Magneto, but now you're fighting the machine. Yeah, I was gonna say, this, this, this is the real game plan here. Uh. This, is the, this, this is the stuff. The Chris G special. Oh, here we go. Oh. His namesake, Meteors and Ass. Yes. Gonna punish Doctor Doom there. Dave? Oh, wait, he might die off of that. Okay, went for a launch punish. Maybe should have gone for Rocket Punch. Not sure. Either way, wouldn't have been able to contest when you're dealing with Morgan Soul Fists everywhere. So we go. He's, Two he's characters got the... that can't take Chip either. Every time you get hit, is a big body. <laughs> no, yeah, very true. Very true. We go incoming Hulk here. Uh, this is oh. tough, man. I don't know how this team deals with <laughs> the machine. Uh, Morgan outside of hard drive. Oh, you mashed? No, he didn't. Oh, wait, but he got crossed up, though. Thunder. Hellfire assist. That's a dead Morgan. Here we go. Solo Doom. Just Doom. What do you got? What do you got? Come on. All right, Doom playing very carefully. Escalante playing very careful. Not to get clipped by the Hulk. Butter Gun confirmed here. Very nice. We got the Doom versus the Ghost Rider. Body cross. Oh my goodness, here we go, all right. We're playing a lame game right now. This is what you do against this character. Not much of an incentive to go in when it's Ghost Rider. No, just chucking projectiles now. Now, now he's got the X-Factor, but uh, that's just about running on empty here. Uh, not playing with a lot of meters, so honestly, Ghost Rider can do all right if you don't get clipped by the foot dive, God. And this, with Doom's level of DPS, is an easy kill. Easy kill here, you just do the, uh, yeah, double super <laughs> extension here. Yeah, finger lasers and the spear flame should do it, but he misses. Oh, flipping out. Minister, please, God. All right, no, I was hoping no for it. Okay, swan him out the air with the jump H. He's Question out of the jump can... H range. No, I, he would have been stared his catch ass. Him before Doom gets one loose hit. He he was gonna pen and stare him. I saw it. I saw the <laughs> the intent. Last time, uh, Magneto's cranium found lacking to Doom's fist, but. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> oh no, speaking of craniums lacking here, it looks like we got a happy birthday. Uh oh. Wait a oh, minute, no, that's fine, that's fine. Character. Totally fine. Oh yeah, there we go. That's not Meteors and S! Okay, was X that an input mistake? Combo. That was he crossed under and it fucked up his input. That was really unfortunate. No worries. No. You really wanna hit this character right now. You really wanna hit this character right now. Of course he just ducks under drones. Smallest Literal character. contortionist hitbox. I mean, how can they differentiate a top tier character if they don't also make them minuscule in size? They have to. If they're not the size of an unborn fetus, that's it. Okay, here we go. Ghost Rider tagging in. So we're Better. saving the Hulk in the back. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how this matchup goes. But okay, get some damage there. Yeah, and the up TAC. Escalante I've never caught seen sleeping. That Escalante caught sleeping. Yeah, Ghost Rider up TAC. It turns out he uses Ghost Rider jump heavy. Because it's his uh, highest aiming attack Wait, there. Did I just see that right? Did he's he get fall off? Wait off a minute. Of Ghost Rider? What you're seeing is a dead Escalante right now. Oh my goodness. Meteor's an ass. Let him know. Let him know. You gotta finish your plate, Meteor. Alright, it's fine. He was sleeping. Escalante uh, <laughs> asleep at the wheel for the past 30 seconds. No worries. It happens to all of us. He's still got a two-game buffer here. All right. I'm still not getting over the fact that I think that Team Hyper Combo, the three with Ghost Rider, actually gives Hulk's follow-ups. It looked like he recovered before the Chain Super finishes. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh, Ooh. Morgan! <laughs> getting crossed up, no confirm, but... Did you do... The cross-up! Cheeky! Okay, tries the OTG, no worries. Really wants this character dead immediately. Recognizes the problem with two big bodies. No, very true, very true. Okay, Hulk knows only one to deal with. Like, like, like Escalante deal hasn't, hasn't really gotten to set up this match. He's throwing missiles, but you know. Oh my god, punishes Not the right. shell kick. 
Okay, getting drones out there. Drones is not doing shit against this character right now. I mean, she can't really get a full combo. Oh my, and there you go. <laughs> Combinator's curse. Back. Oh, it's been called for a match. You enjoy yourself. Good luck, I, <laughs> Thank you. I'm sad I can't see the end of this. All right, I'm coming. Right. Meter's an ass. Some people might call him a low tier hero, but right now he's going for low tier champion. Talk big about Heathnoff, but even he seems to be terrified of meteors. Fetus, how far are we on the codes at the moment? Oh, it would appear Escalante has to change their stick. No better time than a pit stop than before you've lost. And thus, you too can be the, the pit crew for Kevin Ha and Ha Avengers. Takes a simple donation or a simple sub. You know that this is a community that we're not going to walk off of the money. Kevin is quite clear that we will never do such a thing. So anything you do that helps out Marvel, it doesn't just help out one person. So appear that a uh, the other that up says crashed. Something regarding Virgil Swords and the right assist. Fido well, said we have 29 codes. Come on, gang. 29 is not a great number. We should chop it down some. Button check. How's the new equipment working? And in doubt, a spare is always good. All angles of the gate. Ensure your hardware works properly. Interesting. <laughs> you can't. Wait. You can't do quarter circle? Really? The gate. Yo, do the gate like crack or damage? So that the section's not reading? Oh. That's unfortunate. Specifically because he plays air dashers. Welcome to the world of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> Pads don't have this issue, but they do have drift unless you're starting to use like hull effect drift uh, controllers. But um I mean those aren't prevalent in like not of mainstream controllers yet, so it's like <laughs> the machine escalante. Still going into the match. Alright. <clears throat> Never thought I'd say this, but Escalante is coming into this match at a deficit. <clears throat> And, oh, is that it? <laughs> see how this match ends up. Is a lot of Wolverine players have pretty good luck versus zero, but it's not exactly an easy matchup to avoid this much things on screen as once. 
and Central's a bit of a slower assist, so it's going to be up for Sam to stay on his edge when blocking these mix-ups left to right. Go cross up behind. Oh, but the missiles screw up the uh, information, but <clears throat> back into the blender. Just a field day when Zero's out and Buster is charged. Probably can kill Central on low health with one bar. And plenty for the next mix. Respect. Let's let some Sam hold it out and make this Nova come back. Gets caught on the overhead. <clears throat> and with two bars, this is going to be a finish. Oh, lightning that drops. Nova's out. He gets caught by the. Keeps the cutter and. With a perfect. Baba takes match one. <clears throat> Gotta respect the missiles. Be careful, Wolverine. It's hard to swing buttons with this much active uh, screen. Bars. Look out for the missiles. Ah, look at Scott. Give Sam credit, though. Reading that cross up is not an easy thing to do. Baba is just. Build this point and playing very carefully and looking for confirmations at safe distances. Catches up the mix up. Go. X Factor for the quick kill. Take no risks. And another match goes on the board for Baba. Sentinel point. And Sam is bringing out something a little spicy. It is. Oh. Pendulum is a pretty good assist for catching zero. So, let's see how this plays out. Between. Oof. Save. This is the OGG rocket punch. Push the ground, throw, and zero confirm. Really impressed with the uh, changes and the blocks, the blocks. Rocket Raccoon doesn't get too much from a Nova, but at the same time, his small-scale body and traps is actually a fairly effective tool against Zero-style pressure. So we'll see how this overall comes about. Sam is given respect, not taking too many, uh... Like wall into Zero pressure and hoping to weather the storm and build meter for trap traps. The Nova... Ah... Sometimes you just don't know where to block. <clears throat> Baba, you can confirm this. Oh. <clears throat> this is perhaps. Three on the board for Baba Ganoush, but Sam trying his best and say good games to anyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. And there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's 
Looks like going straight in. <clears throat> so, Zen pools. Utilizing Deadpool's tools so they're optimal. Just moving around the screen. Just, uh, until fire grenades are out. It's pretty easy for Deadpool to walk all over Chris, but um, if there's anyone who's good at setting these up, it's Legend. So, Chris is out. But don't sleep on the whisker. Don't sleep on the whisker. Ah, quick work goes low. Catches. Go. Snaps. He knows that the Akuma is a threat. Oh, got two. I didn't believe. No, Sakura brings back in Wesker. I'm gonna get off those glasses. Ah! Oh. Sometimes the Bolo does all the work. Looking at, uh, oh, he's gonna let Wesker and go for the Akuma. Doesn't want to be caught up in that level three. Smart. Oh. Ordinary guy is getting this kill. All right, Wesker, no health, bleeding. Got X Factor. And once the glasses are off, we're looking at, we used to refer to as level four Wesker. <laughs> Don't count him out. Makes quick work for Ryu. Plenty of X Factor, plenty of meter on deck. Deadpool's a low HP character, so they should kill meterless. And then Akuma is also pretty low. He gets touched by Wesker once, it's over. With or without X Factor. Oh! Finds the whole wonderful throw, level 3. And Solo Wesker makes it. Legend. Uh, Legend's concentration, perseverance, and strong for all of his characters across his team. With Chris, uh, any flame grenades are going to. Uh, I think that was a uh, accidental input. Chris has got a lot of HP though, and Deadpool's damage is not the highest, so he's gonna snap. <laughs> yep. Respecting Legends level, but Akuma enough to always snap first. To smart specifically because that's also the dominant neutral assist on Legends team. Go. Can meterless. Uh, goes for the reset. Success. Go mid screen. Respect Wesker. Quick work. Is this gonna connect or is the jab? Wesker gets full damage. Mid screen and glasses off. Go. Going for chip. Plenty of respect after that last match for Wesker. Ah, uh, gotta watch. Where, where Ryu has it, his lows are quite good. <clears throat> Need to list kill. Ah, Oxy Super to finish. Go, oh, what's the mix? Ah, crosses under X. And then pull fires back. You're not the only one. Capable of blistering offense. One, one. Normally, uh, we know Legend for his exceptional Chris, so it's interesting to see that Chris hasn't been a major factor in this matchup so far. This uh, runaway style of Deadpool is making it really hard to set up grenades or even place magnums at points where you can tag. That, that Akuma assist is proving to be an excellent mix when applied quick work. Quick lows and crosses. And uh, once again, there goes neutral assist. Legend's going to be playing solely on his merits now. Let's go take glasses off. And... Ah, quick work. Gotta watch your toes. Go. Your teeth. Ah, two buttons. Gonna catch the grenade. Smart. Quick X Factor cancel. And... Brings in Ryu for the mix. Nope, back to the pickle. Guess he really wanted Dinjin. 
Don't crown out the Chris, though. Legend's signature character is not to be trifled with, despite his performance this matchup. <clears throat> Legend has done miracles before with this character, meter or none. But okay. Zen Pool's tenacity pulls another one. Looks like Legend, Living Legend's going to have to adjust more to this quick work, truly proving to be the bane of his existence throughout this match. Let's carry it out, glasses off. Ah, into the Deadpool's fast normals. Gotta cover your cross-ups and double boards. It's bad for this one. And Deadpool. Deadpool continues to want to make a tomb of a non-factor, fearing Legend's incredible skill of the character. Another quick work. The offense tool that everyone forgot. <clears throat> Throws him out of overhead. It's not that fast. Keep going. One meter kills. In some cases, that has been the problem character, so we're going to see that with good pools on, the legends' chances are looking better. It certainly gives Chris a lot more room to play when you don't have a character that can move so quickly and come on the screen so effectively. But Akuma is simply a character that has to be respected. So, starting to get flame grenades, and Legend is starting to become more comfortable at controlling the space. Still has his neutral assist. Ah, gets caught by the Tatsu twice. Gotta respect its actors. Legend is so active. Once again, Chris's time and play is cut short. Nice cross. Go. Wesker respects. There's no obligation on this character like you to get. Oh, uh, bullet tags the foot. The legend didn't respect the Shoryu. All right, first level three Akuma of the set. Let's see what he can do. <clears throat> Go for Chip on Ryu. He's got a lot of health, so this is probably going to take one or two. Spotlight between the X Factor. Ah, uh, save close to the ground. Thanks. Next touch kills, next touch. Uh... Zenpool, really clenching this one out. That's what Zenpool do. Zenpool been giving me the work for a while. I I have never seen a potent or quick work as Zenpool's this match. Oh yeah, I mean, because if you think about it, like the other two characters both have standing overheads. And quick work, we've been playing this game for 12 years and there's still new stuff coming out all the time. New characters rising up. I think this game is going to be alive basically forever. Yeah, I agree. As long as there's someone playing, uh, the metagame will evolve. Uh, I, I never thought I'd see the day where, like, Modoc players would be respected human beings, but here we are watching Mothman against Tyson Rico. Uh, Tyson Rico from Mexico playing all the way from Cancun. I wonder what DMS is right now, but 104. I don't feel like it really matters much because Mothman is just running a train, going for the jamming bomb setup, and it's just really hard to deal with Mothman's pressure. Lil Grinta looking clean right now, he now. Yeah, I gotta say, Mothman uh, obviously been really killing it recently. Morigine is no joke for a shell, and Modok is a character people both don't have a lot of experience with, and yet all know he's insane. So you know what, I think Mothman's team is incredibly well structured. Not gonna matter here though, because Tyson Rico gonna take out the Modok, cost him an X Factor though. How do you think that's gonna affect the rest of the game? Well, uh, it's interesting because even though it doesn't quite look like it, he's not, uh, Tyson Rico's team does have anti-Phoenix tech. This is a little known fact, but if you kill Phoenix with Captain America's forward throw, 
on the ground, the explosion doesn't push you away. So Tyson Rico might be uh, willing to throw that knowledge check right there against Mothman, sacrificing Nova. Oh. Understands Captain America's strength in the matchup, but it's looking rough. Mothman is a very optimized player, and probably willing to complete the combo right here, build, building up the meter, tags in the Doctor Doom again, jammed, and it's just looking rough. I feel like Mothman has this in the bag, pretty much. Lots of resources. No, very, very much so. I think Mothman got to be my favorite Phoenix player, only on the basis that, like, I think he's so smart with his meter. So many Phoenix players hold on to their meter for dear life, but Mothman is not afraid to spend a bar here or there if he needs to finish a combo. And uh, obviously coupled with the Morigine shell and a good zoning character, he builds bar pretty quickly, so it's understandable to see why he's so comfortable as he is right now sitting with five bars against a hit Captain America. Yep, and, and this should be the end of it. If, if Mothman really wanted, he could just X here, but goes for the Infinito Papito. And things are just looking rough right now for Tyson Rico, who once again, surprising me entering Wednesday Night Fights because he's playing all the way from Southeast Mexico in Cancun, right where uh, the Wakanda Forever is supposed to take place. It's, it's very, very insane. And yeah, actually. Uh, it's just looking rough. I don't know. I don't know how one can navigate this underwater Mario level in Parsec, but it seems that Tyson Rico believes in himself and he's trying to fight against uh, Mothman at the moment. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, you gotta remember. Yeah, playing from Namor's underwater castle here. Got 104 MS. That's a, gonna be about six frames a lag. So even under the best conditions, not great. Yep, and people asking if the Wakanda Forever villain uh, is my grandpa, no, but what no. I can say is that uh, Mexicans think Wakanda Forever was hilarious because there's this one scene where, I won't spoil it, but, but the villain comes out of the water and there's like a Spanish priest talking about how he's the devil, but the Spanish priest is not talking Spanish from Spain, he's just talking like Mexico City Spanish. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like they just casted like the first person they saw that spoke Spanish in the set and yeah, just got someone off the street. Hilarious. Yeah, but oh, speaking yeah. of hilarity, it seems that there is nothing funny about getting hit here in the corner against Morak. Even though it's looking bad for Tyson Rico, anchor Captain America, definitely a Mexican anchor, but can it do it against a team like Mothman? Hell no, that's Morgan Gene Modoc? Fuck no. It's uh, this on Tyson Rico here, obviously an amazing player. But like, what are you doing against Modoc? That's Cap! What's he doing against well, Modoc? Modoc is, is broken. I'm, I'm not going to be um, oh. sugarcoating this. Modoc players like to be like, oh, well, I actually saw an argument with Mothman precisely the other day. He was like listing a lot of top teams that had mm -hmm. Dr. Doom in them. Yep. And he's like, replace Modoc with Doom and tell me if those teams are still broken. And I said, yes, absolutely. This character is busted. <laughs> this so, character is messed up, man. Running like away from it. Coded, but I'm not going to let them. This is a clean 2-0. And Mothman, obviously, not only using extremely good characters, he's one of the strongest players on the planet. Someone I deeply respect. Very clean, calculated gameplay. He has, like, routes and routes and routes for every combo. Optimal stuff. Good decisions in the neutral. And to beat a player like Mothman, you kind of have to exert a lot of pressure. You have to play like your life doesn't matter and his life matters even less. You have to force him to make a mistake. Get that scramble. Otherwise, it's not going to look good. And it seems that Tyson Rico trying to adapt the team a little bit. Going for the Taskmaster on point, maybe. Really? Uh, and Anchor Nova. I like this. Back in the I day, love he Anchor Nova. <laughs> yeah. we, had, we had Tyson in Florida and he was known for the crackhead Anchor Nova that smelts the Florida bath salts and, and Tyson Rico from Cancun might do the same thing. I, I know that Nova is one of the most popular characters in Cancun and maybe there's some secret technology we don't know. So far, blessing the Morrigan right there, looking smart and I Ooh. like the animation. Yeah, very, very nice there. I mean, definitely good use of bar there. Deals about 80% to Morrigan here. That was a very good position to be in, especially you kill Modoc in the next couple seconds. Oh. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, though. Morak gets the confirm here, going for a full combo. Yep, TAC infinite. Yep, it's looking rough, but drops it because Taskmaster's weight 
He's a little bit uh, curious to do infinite sun, and his body shape is not quite normal. So maybe we get the punish here, and does manage Ooh, to get nice. uh, confirmed. No flight cancel right there. Tags in the anchor Nova, leaves the anchor Taskmaster right there, gets to hear Modok, and then doesn't confirm. Mothman just trying to play the Phoenix game right here. Let's see what the set goes like, and we see El Camarón. No confirms from Tyson. He f what 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 happens if Modok dies? Can this team deal with the Phoenix. See, that's something I'm trying to figure out right now. Like, I doesn't, on first impression, doesn't really look like he's got enough anti Phoenix deck, especially not with the dead Nova here. The wolf to avoid that projectile burst, uh, just gone in an instant. Looks like Modok isn't even gonna be dying anytime soon because he gets another throw on Dr. Doom, gonna lead to a full combo here. Ooh, and also a jamming bomb. Oh, nice pressure here from Tyson. Riku gets rid of the Modok with the Team Super right there, covers both sides, fights through the jam, but now Phoenix is free to just do whatever she wants. No X Factor here from Mothman. Taskmaster in the back. Tyson Rico gonna maybe try to go for a scramble here. Tags in the Taskmaster, and you don't want to be doing those tags against a man that is from Southern California, home of the office. He's gonna smell them. He's 100% ready. Fine, fine, fine. Very good. And now, fine, fine. what can Dr. Doom really do here? Fuck all. Gets hit by the trap, and that's gonna be it. 3-0 for Mothman. Ooh. Ooh. That was close, but it wasn't close. 3-0, but it was close. You know, it sometimes it'd be like that. And if you don't want to get 3 out on stream, your best bet is subscribing right now to twitch.tv slash Avengers in order to support this stream so that you can have more tournaments to win. Doom, I honestly kind of don't think is a great anchor, like relative to, you know, yeah, Strider, Phoenix. Yeah, no, yeah, you know what I mean? The but yeah, but still an, an acceptable anchor. So it's Milky's like, it's, it's fun. Like, there are certainly characters you can kill in order to heavily reduce its power, losing Dante is Easily. bad, but like, Easily. Yeah. at the same time, when it's at full team, his mixes, I don't even know which side you're supposed to block jam session. No, unblockable, like, you mixes. just guess. You just oh. guess, really. And, and that's kind of the potency of, of Milky's team, is because, you know, obviously he's got a very uh, mobile Magneto, you know, not anymore because he's dead, but, you know, most of the time it's, you have this brutal... Commentator's curse, is he going to get him out? Oh, yep. Spear flame. The keeps spear flame there. And negates the swords. Very nice. So really, if he can navigate past this Virgil, I think he's got this. This is very much a, a point war heavy matchup, I think. So, but, you know, if you get the Virgil out there, you get the oh, Magneto out there, you win. Catching the swords at the beam is really good. It's... Very strong Leveling stuff the... there. Milky just refusing to get opened up by these teleports. He's, he's playing so smart right now. Very defensive, avoiding every assist call. Not really overextending and trying to punish Strider assist. Uh, and which, he's restraining yeah. and calling jam session very often until he sees the uh, characters getting into sort of that hit zone where he can confirm as well as just play defensive. Yes. Very, very much so. Uh, looks like DXP is going to take it this time though. Gets the Doom out of there. So he's got Magneto Dante. So this is honestly uh, a solid configuration you want to have your team in. Like, if you're going to have to lose a character, you'd rather lose Doom, I think, on Milky's team. That's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, there Ooh. we go. Waits yes. to call Jam until he's in that range where he knows he can get it. Yep, Snaps snap here. Very smart. Strider. Snaps and Strider. That is correct. Virgil's in second position. Doesn't really have any air options. Has to X-Factor to keep safe. And DXP takes a risky X-Factor, in my opinion. I don't think you need an X-Factor there, but really Two wanted buttons. to get the punish on uh, Magneto there. I would not, no. Two buttons but not as good about Doom. I don't think so, uh, but gets the happy birthday on Milky here, so it's going to pay off. Really just unlucky timing with the teleport there. He just and was not ready. Snapping and Strider with two yeah, levels. Yeah, he knew that would happen. Before you can get, get Aura, which is usually the optimal way to do it. Mm, yes, I would say so. Um, okay, gets a small extension there from the XP, no worries. Already pops the swords. Uh, gets the hit on Magneto, though. This is the rough thing in this matchup for Milky, is that, like, Virgil has a straight-up I'm-just-gonna-win-neutral now button. So if you get that and get a clean hit, like, you're confirming in the TAC and you're killing them. Like, that's just how it goes. And, and Magneto's kind of made a paper. Just Magneto's has to better happen. neutral tools or projectiles, so the nullification forces a much more uh, restrained gameplay style until they end. Yes, yes, very much so. Ooh, drops the combo there against Milky's Doom here. This is not a character you want to leave alive. Uh, but looks like not going to be a problem. Is that an input error? Uh, yes, I would say so. Okay, yeah. 
Yep, you know, stays you safe from the assist. Very, very smart play by Milky there. You know, sometimes Milky's Dante is a little uh, lesser than other players, but his uh, skill in Devil Trigger is really impressive most of the time. Yeah, I, I agree. I think his Devil Trigger calls are very, very strong. Uh, and honestly, I think Milky's Dante is one of those characters that pe people generally feel like it's his weakest character, but honestly, I think he's been getting a lot better with him in uh, recent times. Nice. I've seen him play beautiful cross up there. Up. Okay, yeah, million carrots route. Okay, neat. Goes for uh, some kind of reset, reset there. Or... I don't know if he was just saucing. Just not sure. <laughs> if, if there's okay. one oh, thing you can always appreciate, I love that. The stare down in Marvel is my favorite shit. It was full screen, but you know what? Love the stare down. It's a Dragon Ball Z fight. They have to stop the stare. <sighs> he still has the assist. No. Oh, um, Kevin, I can hop off. Oh, thank Nice talking yeah, to you. Whoa. Yes, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, just like Milky's going to really appreciate him dropping his guard there. Gets the confirm on Trotter. Doesn't take the kill. And that's going to lead to a dead Dante. Yeah? Oh, not everyone dropping their combos today, man. This is, this is a rough one. Okay, almost punishes the, the, the uh, raw tag there. That was good. Okay. Right, here we go. Spiral Swords on deck. Throws the round trip. Going in on Doom. He did not swing. He refused to swing. He went for the cross-up and then just didn't hit a button. Oh, no. And he spent the bar. Wait a minute. Milky could still do this. You just need every mix-up possible. What is good, my friend? T.A. Wolf. It's going good, Keefnuff. Hope you're doing great. We're, we're watching a classic right now. Tell me how it's been going. Literally just got here. Uh, excited to see DXP against Milky. What's the score at the moment? Score is 2-0 as of just now for DXP. Okay, uh, it Ooh, seems right. that this matchup historically has been uh, very back and forth. Sometimes Milky waxes DXP, sometimes it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. But I have insider knowledge that Milky identifies as a Falco player now. He's trying out Smash Bros. Maybe that really? uh, it's, a, it's a very similar game to... Um, to Marvel, so sometimes inputs get mixed up, and, and we can see this. We see the, the unorthodox uh, failures there to blink from Milky. Usually mm -hmm. very smooth, very creamy movement, but uh, it's it's rough against a player like Dedex Pride that throws 3,586 hitboxes per second. Keep up. How do you think very Milky good. can adapt here? Uh, this is going to be a rough one for Milky to adapt here, I think. Like, he really just straight up has to win the point war, and it's like there's not really much he can do to navigate swords in this position. I think he had some good plays earlier where he DHC'd into Doom Spear Flame to kind of navigate, but it's not easy. DXP's been staying in his face. Yeah, it's hard to, to fight DXP. I, I feel like the, the best motto when you fight a player like DXP is you're not going to be able to defend forever, so you kind of just have to go equally as crazy and, and beat him scrapping, force him to make a mistake, because DXP is very comfortable running the neutral game because his team can ignore it, and, and most teams cannot really deal with uh, the combination of Swords, Vajra, uh, Dr. Doom, so it's really rough. We see the X Factor here in order to maintain the advantage state, but the team super here from Milky going to be able to confirm, Kivnov, this could be a turnaround. Maybe Milky's edge guarding is improving at the moment. Let's see. Virgil does have the extra jump right there. Air dashes out of the corner makes very smart. <laughs> Goes for the snap but misses. Oh, definitely a fair option there, but just didn't work out for uh, Milky this time. I feel like it's still doable. Dante's a really strong character in Milky, one of the, the best Dante's, but not when you get blessed. So there we saw uh, a very smart mix from DXP where he dashes back a little bit before going for the teleport and it changes up the push block timings. You see that he does this very habitually in order to, to bait out uh, usual punishes to the Virgil uh, pressure, but uh, ooh, I was going to say there's no more meter, but it doesn't really matter. Milky misses the push block right there, and we see a clean 3-0 from DXP. Even on what a crazy match. Actually crazy. No, I mean, these two, I, I, I've been watching these two for years at this point. And like, you know what? It's always so back and forth, but today just DXP just swept you know, like he's been playing crazy well. Uh, one thing you gotta notice about DXP is Virgil. I think he's got one of the best. Was the only Hulk player that doesn't explode in Hulk against Hagar matchup. He actually took his time, thought about when to challenge, when not to, and I feel that he has such a layered, structured game plan that the only thing that really betrays Meteors is his nerves. 
and one drop could mean the end, especially against a character like Zero and a player like Baba. Baba Ganoush is stone cold. He will never Incredible. crack under the pressure. No, never. Baba, I've been seeing a decent amount of matches from Baba, and you know what? His consistency is very impressive. Especially against, uh, when you're dealing with characters like Hulk, it's a big thing to play consistent and safe. Unlike that, as it turns out, you know what? You got a dead zero on your hands now. Suddenly, Meteor's and us looking a little bit comfortable here, you know? You got to deal with Dr. Doom, sure, but if you can snap out that Virgil and deal with him, I think he got this. Yep, and here's the thing about Ghost Rider. A lot of people say this character sucks ass, and they are right. But there's one thing that Ghost Rider does really well that a lot of characters don't do, and that is Ghost Rider makes a lot of matchups really uncomfortable. Doom can't play Ghost Rider like he normally fights other characters because of that chain. Uh, Virgil can't really swing freely because the chain will hit you uh, from full screen away. So yeah. you have to play him a different way. Once you understand how to fight Ghost Rider, then things become way easier and life is gorgeous. Yeah. But otherwise, this character can keep you in check and build a lot of resource here for Meteors. However, there is no better character here than Laku Karacha. Heath, how do you block Bird? Is it you possible? Don't. It's not possible. As demonstrated here by Meteors and Ask, definitely took an educated guess. Doesn't matter. Because you know what? That's Virgil on screen. Right, here we go. Run it back. He doesn't even have to block with this character. All right, here we go. Sentinel, hard drive. This is actually ideal here. You get a full combo on Virgil. Suddenly, this matchup is incredibly winnable. Yep, and El Robot struggles against Doom, but one mistake, and this could be the end. We see the launch there. I feel Ooh. like that's a meteors. He's establishing dominance. Oh, Understand them. This is rough for Baba. What is Baba gonna do? I, no clue. I mean, look, we agree Meteors is a very smart player, but he has no fear in his soul. He is just going for it. He is committing to his buttons. And you know what? That's a very valuable skill in this matchup. You do not want to second guess yourself when you're going for risky plays. Oh my god, no Ooh, punishment, oh. Baba get the hit, and, and that's what I was telling you, Heath. Meteors is a smart player, but sometimes the nerves betray him, he makes that one bad decision that costs him the game. Um, Baba Ganoush is looking really, really strong. He makes the comeback against all odds, just like the Phil Collins song, and this just feels like it could landslide into something very, very bad if Meteors doesn't put a, a stop to the momentum that Baba's about to get right here off that W heap. Oh, very much so. But it looks like, oh my god, Meteors and S immediately going to take two characters off the rip for one bar? One bar? Okay, all right, Zero's still alive. Oh my god, kill him. No, he oh, didn't do it fast enough. Auto correct. That autocorrect really screwed him over. Incoming super, because Virgil players, oh my goodness. Anti-air gamma charge, though, shuts that down immediately. We got some drone pressure, gets the scoop. OTG, and that's a dead Virgil. This is why I'm telling you, he Meteors has a galaxy-sized brain. This He's got man, to. I'm convinced. So the H in Hulk stands for Harvard with, with Meteors and Nast. This man is a genius and he's clearly proving it. Baba needs to do something differently because if you get blown up right like that at the beginning of the match, things could go really badly. And the big advantage that Hulk has against other characters is that he has a lot of health. So sometimes Zero can't really kill comfortably depending on the hit confirmed. Goes for the infinite right here off the TAC, but Baba opts to reset neutral, does not want uh, to deal with uh, the meteor pressure right here. Oh no, looks like, yeah, yeah, looks like, uh, oh my god, the clone super here, gonna avoid the meteor and ass, the namesake. And now you're back to neutral, and you know what, with no meter, this matchup's kind of rough for Hulk. Can't really do too much here. Calling in drones, but getting counter called. Getting hit by zero, it's rough. Now you just got the robot and the ghost rider. Ooh, and that was an.